What's going on guys? How's it going? Today is a very good day for us Blu-ray collectors. Today was Black Friday. Uh, tons of good deals, mostly at Best Buy. Uh, I have five titles from Best Buy, one title from Target, zero from Walmart. Walmart stunk. Nothing was on, well, there was stuff on sale, but just the usual prices I got at the other places. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty content with what I got. I paid $35, $30 overall. I don't know, $30, $35. Pretty content with all of that. So, uh, I'm not going to go out tomorrow. I didn't really say anything else that I wanted to go back and get, but, you know, I might... But uh, this is this is my uh, my Black Friday haul. I didn't say that, but this is my Black Friday haul uh, stuff I got uh, today. I just came home from Target and Best Buy and Walmart, like I said. And yeah, let's just jump right in. I'm gonna start with the Target one because I only got one title. The one title I got from Target is the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part Two. Uh, this was six dollars at Target. I I own the other ones on Blu-ray, and this was the only one that I didn't have. And Six dollars ain't bad for a uh, Hunger Games movie. So I've only seen this once. I didn't really like it, but I want to complete the Hunger Games collection. So that is the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part Two. Probably put that up here. Okay, and then the five titles I picked up from uh, Best Buy. Best Buy, I like Best Buy, uh, especially during Black Friday. Their deals are really good. So, we're going to start out. I got um, two titles from the $4 area. The first title I got, first title I got is The Wizard of Oz. I had a DVD of this, and I have no idea where it went. It just, out of the blue, disappeared. And so, I decided to uh, get it on Blu-ray. So, this, this is a classic, one of the first... Movies ever made? What? When? When was this movie made? 1939. So it's a pretty old movie. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to check this out again. I haven't seen it in a while ever since we lost the DVD. So getting on Blu-ray, really good. So that is The Wizard of Oz. Got it there. Uh, next up, this was 3.99. I was like, I was excited when I saw this. Uh, that's Edge of Tomorrow. Not Live Die Repeat. Edge of Tomorrow. Great action movie. I love this movie. It's so good. Emily Blunt. You can't go wrong with her. And Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is one of the best actors working today. Especially one of, I, I think probably one of the best action, uh, did I say directors? I meant to say actors. Actors. Whatever. I, I don't know what I said, but, uh, yeah, Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt are really good. This was four dollars. Really cheap. So yeah, I'm super glad I snapped this. There was like two copies left. I'm like, I got, I got grab it, and then figured out that it's, it's a little ripped right there. And I'm like, Ugh. I can't. I, I mean, I can go back and exchange it, but I don't want to. So that is a uh, live edge of edge edge of tomorrow for four dollars. And then uh, the next two titles I got were each five ninety nine. First one I got is The Imitation Game. I really like this movie. It's good. Benedict Cumberbatch is a really good actor. And this had eight Academy Award nominations. So uh, that tells you that this is film-wise a really good movie. And I do like it. It's really good. So for $6, can I pass it up? That is The Imitation Game. And then the other $6 title that I got, I wasn't worried if they were going to run out of these because this was everywhere for $6. Uh, that's The Martian. I like this movie. It's really good. The visuals are amazing. I've only seen it once, though. That was in theaters, so. Uh, I'm excited to check it out again on Blu-ray. So that is The Martian. And the final, uh, Black Friday title I picked up, uh, to, to, uh, what, not to complete, not to complete anything, but, uh, I got X-Men Apocalypse. I have not seen this movie yet, but it was $8.00. And I like the X-Men movies. They're they're pretty good. Um, yeah, so I got X-Men Apocalypse for eight dollars. I'm really excited to check it out. I've heard mediocre things about this, but uh, Chris Stuckman gave it a really high grade. So, you know, I I, I trust Chris Stuckman the most. So, uh, I picked up X-Men Apocalypse as a blind buy and decided to watch it. That is X-Men Apocalypse. 
All right, guys. That's it. That's all I got. Show you the titles I picked up. Really, really good uh, Black Friday. I didn't get as many titles as I did last year. Uh, I felt like last year they had a lot more. Uh, yeah, just gotta adjust that. Uh, but yeah, so I'm pretty content with what I got. A lot of good movies for under fifty dollars. So yeah, that's all. That's my Blu-ray haul. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. I will be doing a big, big, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 100 subscriber video. I just recently passed 100 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. It truly means the world to me that I have 100 people supporting me. Not all of them watch my videos, but 100 people subscribe to my channel. That's really good. Uh, so I'll be filming that tomorrow. Maybe putting it up tomorrow. I don't know, but, uh, We'll see, so stay tuned for that video, and, uh, yeah, again, pretty happy with what I, what I got today, and, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, see you guys next time.